New tonight, deadly concerns. A woman from New Jersey has died from a vaping related illness. This is the state's first death connected to e-cigarettes. Makers and lawmakers are going head to head over regulations and proposed bans. Eyewitness News reporter Kimberly Davis joins us from Camden County on what one leader thinks should be done and done right now. Kimberly. Yuki, that Camden County freeholder tells me there are more questions than answers surrounding the health risk associated with vaping. She says until it can be regulated, it needs to be completely banned or at least have some restrictions. As New Jersey deals with its first death linked to vaping, officials are sounding off. I don't have a whole lot of information, but I think that's the biggest problem that we have right now is that there isn't a whole lot of information. The lack of information is why Carmen Rodriguez believes New Jersey should follow the lead of Massachusetts in banning vaping statewide. Our young children, which are more sensitive to, the, to the, these types of um, contaminants, that could be very problematic. I think we really need to do a lot more research and definitely we need to have some, some more controls and honestly, until we figure out what's going on with this thing, I think we just need to stop. Nationwide, 13 deaths have been connected to vaping, but it's important to note to date, there have been no reports of serious lung illness associated with vaping products sold in legal New Jersey medical marijuana dispensaries. 32 reports of severe lung illness are under investigation. That's why we definitely need to look into this process. We need to put rules and regulations for it. These deaths have been linked to the use of THC vapor cartridges. Some critics are concerned a major crackdown on vaping will only increase sales through the black market. But New Jersey officials are hopeful a ban would do more to keep people alive. If we put the message out, you need to stop they cannot openly use it in public places. Governor Murphy created a special task force to address this epidemic and possibly come up with some sort of vaping regulation. We're told the report is due this week. We're live in Camden County. I'm Kimberly Davis, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Kimberly, thank you.